like this old school clip from your papu. Look at this for a sec. I am very aware of being uh, from another world. I was uh, born uh, a Greek in Turkey, a member of a highly oppressed minority whose uh, ancestors lived in terror, whose father was lived in terror when he was young. I left there when I was four. I was the luckiest man in the world to be brought to America. I'm eternally grateful to America. I feel much more patriotic than anybody born in America possibly could. could. Mm. The good words. Yeah. That kind of stuff floating around, that kind of passion floats around your family? Yeah. That's, that's like, yeah. That's my grandpa to a T. Yeah. Um, the value of art is something that's not questioned in my house. So in some houses, I think like, I think in some families, if you're not a doctor or a lawyer, what you do doesn't matter. Right. But, you know, there's a real sense of like attention must be paid that sitting down at your typewriter, your computer, your desk and writing something down or going and spending a lot of time reading a text and figuring out how to enter it as an actor, that stuff is like, I think considered in some ways sacred work in my house right. that I grew up in and uh, it means a lot to me. I mean, that clip means so much to me just in terms of, I think, you know, my grandpa was like so attacked for some of his political stuff and uh, I think that his, uh, his passion as a person superseded all of that in terms of um, he, he was his own master and he knew himself and that he was the person he answered to. And I think all of that is a really good example in terms of being an artist that um, you have to answer to yourself.